just because you are a really good coach does not mean you're going to be a good business owner. And a lot of people, that is the goal. That is the goal. But I'm going to tell you right now, guys, um, if you enjoy coaching and you're at a point in your life where you're comfortable, the grass isn't always greener, right? Everybody thinks that owning a facility is the end all be all. I've done it. Eric's done it. Everyone thinks that working with professional athletes is the end all be all. I've done it. Eric's done it. Every, you know, everyone thinks that presenting in front of a whole bunch of people on stage is the end all be all. We've both done it. Guys, it's those are all cool things. But at the end of the day, um, your ability to coach, train, create systems, and find a way to see and help as many people as possible is what's gonna is what's gonna pay the bills. You know, that's really what it's gonna do. Am I saying that you shouldn't own a business? No, no, no. I'm just saying um it's a lot different than you would anticipate. Um, the only way that I could explain it to you is, is if you've ever had children, you know what it's like before children and you know what it's like to have children. That is how drastic the change is from being a personal trainer to owning a business.